words and pictures. Words and pictures. It's not going to be a nice picture. Oh, hello, Vicky. Hello. <laughs> Everything all right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, being very quiet. Oh. Is this still snowing outside? Yes. Oh. And it's freezing cold. Oh, dear. Ooh. Hurry up, you two. Come on, Richard. Here you go. That's it. Ooh, it's a lot warmer inside the library. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Have you been having wintry weather lately? <laughs> I hate the winter. Oh. Come on, Vicky. It was good fun at the weekend. Wasn't it, Shelley? Eh? Yes. With all that snow? <laughs> we had enough snow to build a snowman. Shelley and Sarah have put a snowman in their winter picture. They're in it too. Oh. Well, which one is Shelley? That one's me and I've got a blue hat, a red scarf and wellies. That mm -hmm. one's Sarah. She's got an orange rain raincoat. Hat. Some blue gloves yeah. and brown trousers and black, black boots. Well, yes. Well, I can see you're jolly well wrapped up against the wintry weather, aren't you? Yeah, just as well, Vicky. Hmm? It looks as if there's a lot more snow on the way. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Some might say that the best place to be in winter is inside, by the fire, with a hot drink to warm you through. That's what Owl thought. Owl at home. Owl was at home. How good it feels to be sitting by this fire, said Owl. It is so cold and snowy outside. Owl was eating buttered toast and hot pea soup for supper. Owl heard a loud sound at the front door. Who is out there, banging and pounding at my door on a night like this? He said. Owl opened the door. No one was there. Only the snow and the wind. Owl 
all sat near the fire again. There was another loud noise at the door. Who can it be? said Owl. Knocking and thumping at my door on a night like this. Owl opened the door. No one was there. Only the snow and the cold. The poor old winter is knocking at my door, said Owl. Perhaps it wants to sit by the fire. Well, I will be kind and let the winter come in. Owl opened the door very wide. Come in, Winter, said Owl. Come in and warm yourself for a while. Winter came into the house. It came in very fast. A cold wind pushed Owl against the wall. Winter ran around the room. It blew out the fire in the fireplace. The snow whirled up the stairs and whooshed down the hallway. Winter! cried Owl. You are my guest. This is no way to behave. But Winter did not listen. It made the curtains flap and shiver. It turned the pea soup into hard green ice. front door. Goodbye, called Owl, and do not come back. Owl made a new fire in the fireplace. The room became warm again. The snow melted away. The hard green ice turned back into soft pea soup. Owl sat down in his chair and quietly finished his supper. I wonder what Owl will do the next time he hears a loud knocking on his front door. I don't think he'd be quite so ready to invite anyone in to be his guest on a cold winter's night. Sleep in bed The midnight hour Goes out 
Hey, Vicky, listen to my imitations. <coughs> the midnight owl. The grey wolves howl. The brown bears growl. <gasps> that was very good, Charlie. Could you imitate the sound of an owl <coughs> hooting, wolves <coughs> howling, a bear <coughs> growling, the sound of the hunters as they go Tramping along through the snow. Did a lot of new. Yeah, well, we had so much snow, we thought we'd put Owl's house in the picture and let winter into the house. <laughs> See, the snow goes whooshing down the hall and into all the rooms. Oh, mm. And it's even put the fire out, I see. <laughs> Don't worry, Vicky, we can light the fire again. Yeah, that'll warm the house up oh, and good. melt all the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Melt all the snow. It's lovely. <laughs> I must have that.